Hey everyone, how are you doing? New day and I'm continuing to work on my uh, horizontal stabilizer of RV-10 airplane. Uh, for today, well, basically mainly it's going to be a riveting part. So we, as you remember in the last video, ended up with uh, preparing our old parts, dimpling all holes on the skins. It was quite boring uh, task. So for today, mainly it's going to be, uh, I'm starting to do my uh, riveting. Of course, I won't be able to finish it. As you remember, it's over a thousand holes. So <laughs> I doubt I will be, but uh, even though despite I will have to do only the half of the skins because again as you remember for Canada we have to keep uh, the surface open for the inspection so only half will be riveted while the other half of the skin will be still on the uh, on the clicos but anyway before I start my riveting I have to actually do I already started that to do a little bit of the counter thinking on the uh, on the thick parts which cannot be dimpled obviously so well that's going to be on the stiffeners as well as on the um, on the lingerons uh, that's probably what I'm going to start with, with the um, with the counter thinking, and after that I will move into the uh, riveting. And I hope that most of my riveting I will be doing today with the uh, squeezer, and uh, basically the use of the convenient tool such as the rivet gun uh, and bucking bar will be only for the skins, because I guess the rest of the parts I should be able to reach with the with my. Um, squeezer and with the three inch arm anyway let's uh, watch how i'm going to be doing that and i will do my comments during the uh, steps if any are required
We continue on riveting. We already have riveted all nose parts, like all those noses all along the um, horizontal stab are riveted. And now the remaining parts are most of the rivets. Actually, most of the rivets, by that I mean about 900, 950 rivets on both sides. And my plan is to rivet actually everything. The only thing I'm gonna leave open, I'm gonna leave open the axis from top. So basically the top spar, like the rear spar, which holds the elevator, that spar, that spar will not be riveted. So by doing that, I will leave for inspector axis inside and hopefully he should be able to see all all rivets like all access to all rivets he should be able to see all rivets and with the same time uh, he should be able to see the nose ribs here uh, rivets because the rivets are outside the only my concern are two inner ones on each side on the left and right horizontal step to inner nose ribs which well, it's going to be quite, it's not tricky, but he has to use some mirror or something just to access there to inspect. Because otherwise it's a problem. If I cannot do that, I cannot rivet horizontal stab at all. Like for me, it's, a, it's an issue because if I have to leave one side open, means I just can't rivet it. I just can rivet only one side and I have to leave almost 40% of work undone, which is, which is, um, well, it's not right right like it has to be it has to be done properly according to instructions and Vance recommends to do it in a specific order so I will take my chance I will continue and again I'm saying that most of the rivets will have access for inspection so I don't think it's going to be an issue I hope so anyway I'm continuing on riveting uh, today on this new day and uh, it's going to be lots of work lots of riveting it's going to be the same type of work I'm going to be using the, using a rivet gun and well basically bucking bar and that's it for today so let's watch how it's going to happen And here we go. I'm done with my horizontal stab, finally. Can't believe that, but I have 
completed it today. So what what has been done? Well basically I riveted all surfaces, so basically both surfaces, I riveted everything except the rear spar. The rear spar I left on Clicos, so this line of rivets here through the skin as well as rivets which goes through the uh, rear spar into the ribs I left unriveted for now and as I said the reason for that is for the upcoming inspection aside of that all skins are done everything is done and well it looks huge and it's the biggest part I ever assembled for my uh, uh, airplane what I must say that um, my riveting was well quite better I would say as I can judge comparing to what I was doing initially with my um, uh, with the rudder and even before that with a vertical stabilizer where I got some issues with the riveting like I, I damaged I banded some part of the skin well here so far so good I was doing it quite slow I wasn't rushing the things and uh, each rivet separately one by one slowly I took my time and it took me actually well way over eight hours today but I'm quite happy with with the results right now and uh, for now I'm like conserving it like I'm placing it aside the horizontal stab and my next part will be the uh, what's going the next one actually elevator yeah right it's going to be elevator so my next part to assemble will be elevator which I will start to work on the right on next working day for my airplane and yeah you are more than, well, more than welcome to join me and to watch my channel and to see my results on my next upcoming project which is elevator and please leave me your comments sign for my channel subscribe for my channel and i'll be glad to answer your questions if any for now that's it that's all i'm done i'm happy i'm going home see you bye